you're the first person on the pod that's actually gotten to Ukraine. We talked in our first guest with Tony Skin, who by that point in time, as we were talking about, had become injured in the Olympics and didn't want, he signed with a team, but he didn't wind up going. He, he retired and became a coach. Uh, mm. Take us through a little bit of that story, uh, recount that for our listeners. And you're talking a little about your experience in playing in Ukraine, what what the day to day of that was like in Ukraine. Yeah, so like people don't understand, like, you know, they think the rivalry in college is like players are going at it, blood, sweat, and tears, and you know, we don't talk or we, you know, everybody's beefing. But you know, I re- I respected everybody that I played with in the league, and you know, from you know, from Tony to Will to Follerin and um, you know, Matt Janis, like I said, Frank, we're, we're there on my roll. We're, we're all cool. And, um, that year, uh, Buda Velnik is the team that, that signed Tony. And, um, they were interested in me because I was coming off a good year in France and, you know, I'm going back and forth in negotiations, you know, you and Tony in the back court. And I'm like, Tony's a killer like that. That's perfect for me. You know what I mean? And, um, uh, you know, and he just got Nigerian in the Olympics. So, you know, I'm following that game and, he had a, had a great move on James Harden. I think made him do the split. So I'm all excited. I'm like, yeah, it's going it's to happen. And he had the major injury. And um, they signed Malcolm Delaney to replace him. And um, so I'm, I'm about to sign the deal. And I tell my father, you know, I'm, I'm going to go to Ukraine. And with his military background, he was like, man, I was planning on coming to see you play this year. But if you go to Ukraine, I'm not going to risk it. You know, they scan and see I'm, you know, military and, you know, they have a problem with me. So, you know, that kind of like scared me away from the deal. And I resigned uh, in France that year and I ended up getting hurt. So, you know, me and Tony was hurt the same same year. But um, the following year I signed in Kimmich and, um, you know, it was me, Romeo Travis, uh, Matt Gatons, who's now coaching at Drake. Um, and they had a great season this year at uh, NCAA. And um, Paul Delaney, who went to UAB, who I played in college as well. So we had a, a, a great team, man, and we ended up losing in the finals. But, um, you know, that year was, you know, you, you think of Ukraine and, you know, I, I just thought of like baby Russia, you know what I mean? Like bombshell buildings and, you know, vodka and cigarettes and, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just thinking about movies and then, you know, I get there and, and my city was very small. I mean, you can get in your car and drive in a circle and you'll be back in your apartment. That's how small it was. And, um, but I enjoyed my time. My wife loved it out there. Um, saved a lot of money on gas because I could walk to the gym. Uh, we were, we were Euro cup and we, we exceeded expectations on that. Like I said, we, we made it to the, to the finals. Um, just the only bad part is that's when they, they started the conflict with Russia. So we yeah. were on the, we were on the front line of a war, man. And it was, it was scary. You know, we were um, 30 minutes from Odessa, which is a beautiful city. So on a day off, you know, me and the family, me and Romeo and his family will go to, you know, Odessa, eat, go to the movies, whatever. And I remember one day we were coming back and it was just 16 fleet of tanks. And I'm like, oh man, it's about to start. The war is about to start. And as, as we turn to our city, they keep going. And I tell my wife, I'm like, you know what? If we're going to finish the season, you know, you, you and my daughter, y'all have to go home. And she was like, I'm not leaving you. I'm not doing it. I'm like, look, babe, it's, your mom is calling every day. My mom is calling because they're seeing on CNN and Mazel Tell cocktail, uh, cocktails being thrown. And I'm like, look, I, uh, we had to play a game of turkey. And I'm like, I, 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 wouldn't, I, w- I couldn't live with myself if I'm in Turkey. They start the war, shut the country down, and y'all are stuck here. You know what I mean? So, you know, that was one of the hardest times that, you know, just off the court and dealing with everything. Um, but but I, I love my experience in Ukraine other other than that, because that was that was scary, man. Yeah. Uh, on the court, I think our, our stats say that you played 51 games for them, uh, mm-hmm. averaged something like 12.7 points, you know. Uh, four rebounds, three assists to steal a game. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like mm-hmm. you said, in the Euro Cup, so you're doing well, uh, not only in the Euro Cup, but also doing well in the, uh, that's the BTB League, right? So uh, it was, it was cool. We, we weren't VTB that year. We okay. were just U- Ukraine and Euro Cup. It was a couple of teams in the league that were VTB, but um, 
it, it was a team Donetsk that was in the VTB and we played them in the semifinals and what's crazy about you know this we we how the playoff was set up it was uh two two one so it was a five five game series won the first two games and as we were getting on a flight to Donetsk the president said okay um okay guys I want to talk to you and we're like, okay, what's going on? We get a prep talk from the president. Maybe he's going to throw a bonus if we win or whatever. And he just had this like ghostly look in his eyes. He was like, okay, if we don't win this game, the season is going to be over. And I'm like, man, we're up 2-0. Like the season's not going to be over. We're going to play game four. And he was like, no, I think this city then, uh, is, is going to go up in flames in the next two days. And we were like, what? He was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to get bad. So that just sparked in my head, you know, the conversation I had with my wife. So we were on the bus of the game and you see thousands of people just, you know, they're going to the city center and this looked like it's about to be a clash. And man, I think I had like 32 points that game. We ended up winning, went to the airport, flew back. And two days later, man, the city was in shambles. They, they burned everything down. The airport that we flew out, flew uh, into, it was gone. So, you know, that was, that was, Ukraine was one of the best and craziest times of, of my career.